Hello and welcome to Low Bricks. This is Leaky Trooper and this is our Wednesday Tatooine Mock episode and this week we are getting back to Jabba's Palace. And I know you guys are, I don't know if you're getting sick of the droid room, I just never get tired of torturing poor droids. But as we had said previous weeks, a couple of weeks back, we are missing a few droids in the droid room. We have since added two axe handle uh, Gamorrean guards that we got in a previous episode. They're just kind of stand-ins for now till we get their axe blades. But anyways, we have some droids we got to put down and some additional detail. So let's take a look at these droids that we're going to be adding. Well, first of all, now I'm jumping around here. Hopefully I'm not making anyone sick. This is where the hanging droid goes. And there's the uh, torture uh, lever so they can just pull them apart at will. And before, oh, I am jumping around here. We had this guy was hanging up there, but he doesn't quite fit the bill. Have a look at the picture. He's more looks like this guy here, medical droid. And I've already removed his arms so we can horribly torture him by hanging him up on the wall. Then we have, take a look at this picture, a busted up old R2-D2. And he is kind of blackened. And I know a couple of commenters had said you can actually get a blackened uh, R2-D2. But I actually might do something horrific to this droid to make him a little blackened. We'll see if it works or not. I might set fire to my house. We shall see. And then here is another disassembled droid. This is a protocol droid. And I believe this was the same guy that was a new hope kind of just weirdly bouncing in the corner. Let's pull up a clip of that. But he is also in the corner of Jabba's palace, disassembled when C-3PO is like, don't leave me. So we're going to add him to the board. Then we have the, uh, I'm going to butcher the name. It's like the EV-9 droid. This is the guy that is uh, doling out the jobs, the droid jobs. And you better listen to him or you're going to get tortured. Next we have, and I think this is called the 8D8 droid. This is the weird, long-faced guy who is all white, who uh, is literally pulling the arms off of the... Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. This is the smelting droid. This is the guy that is uh, melting the feet of the gonk droid. And you'll notice this one is not white. This is a silver assassin droid. So we're going to have to make some modifications. And for you purists out there, you might want to tune out now because we are going to be modifying, painting, doing stuff to droids that we really shouldn't do. Then finally, we have um, this droid. I think this is called the Jabba Mistress droid. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But we'll, uh, I don't think we're going to add her onto the board. So anyways, let's get to it. Because first, before we uh, do horrific things to these droids, we have to make some modifications to the droid torture room itself. So first and foremost, we have to build up these back walls a little bit. They just kind of look like the back end of the cave, which actually it is, the cavern. So we're going to put some uh, backing here so we can add some droids to the back wall. And we actually have to add a little door where C-3PO gets uh, taken away. So let's do that first. All right, so we have to do a little bit of wall work in here, inside of the droid room at Jabba's Palace. As you know, this will be a cliff wall that's built up. And uh, we just want to put some detail in here. And to be honest, you're only going to be able to see it from the front. So you'll probably never see this, so this might be a hidden area. But we're going to add on to that, and we have to build this wall up. And I'll show you as we build it up where we're going to put the droids. But first of all, I need to take the rest of the top part of Jabba's palace off so I don't have any more unfortunate accidents and uh, assistant yells at me. Um, and maybe off camera there did something happen, something might have happened where I knocked it off, but no one will ever see it. Assistant definitely won't, so we won't talk about that. Damn it, Leaky, not again. Won't, so we won't talk about that. Okay, so first of all, I am going to build up this wall here, and this is the wall where 
we are going to have a disassembled R2-D2 hanging from the wall. And uh, while I'm doing this, let's show a quick pic of that. All right, so let me see here. Get some pieces spilled out here. Okay, we're gonna build this on the other side. how high up on the wall we want them. Probably not terribly high. And obviously I still need to uh, still need to um, dirty him up a bit, which we will do. Or I should say burn him up a bit. Do not try this at home. Okay, let's build up the rest of this wall. I might put him one block higher so we can see him from the front. Let's take a quick look at that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see from the front. We're going to want him to be up probably yay high. All right, yeah, let's get... Uh, Let's get disassembled wall R2 a little higher up here. Actually, I might, in case you can see it from the side. Nope, that's not gonna work. All right, that should be high enough. Fill in the gaps on the wall. There we go. And I'll build up the back side of this a little later. So now we want to build up in here. And I'm going to do that also in dark tan. Let's, let's take a quick look at the wall I'm doing here where the droid is and a pick. So actually the bottom row can be any color because you're not going to see it. But this part we are going to make dark tan. The walls inside of Jabba's Palace are really dark tan so let's build this one up here. And I'm not going to do all the walls, just enough to uh, lay our droids down for today. Let's see if this... Whoa, perfect. Good guess, Leaky. Now, can we get this to fit perfectly? Probably not, but we shall see. What I'm going to do really quick is put a four-piece plate, which I'm going to have to go get. All right, got my plate here. Let's get that locked into place. Put our cliff face back down. Hopefully this will click into place as well. It's going to be a little tricky. What is preventing it? Come on. Hmm. What if I have to... Oh, it won't stick up because there are no blocks to, to attach it to. It's me being uh, leaky. So that will just sit there, but that's fine once we get pressure as we build up, it'll push down on that. So there is the wall. 
and this is where we are going to have this guy which to be completely honest from the side I don't know if you'll ever see him but we are going to dis disassemble him and have him kind of just uh, up against this wall here and we will figure that out all right now here is where this guy is gonna go after we make him white and actually the long face guy let's take a picture of him show a picture of him I should say take that top off the assassin droid we're gonna make him white we're gonna put him right there oops whenever I say oops I feel like I'm like Anakin and Phantom Menace oops I blew up the droid ship crazy so anyways we're gonna make him a different color we are gonna burn up R2D2 a bit and then last but not least this guy will be there actually not last but not least I still have to hang this droid here so let's get to our droid modifications now that we have the walls set for now we're gonna actually fill in a lot more later but this is enough so we can get the droids going and uh, which is what this episode's about it's about droids not not about wall building come on leaky get after it okay I think I'm going to start with the least risky and uh, dangerous um, droid modification which is hanging this guy uh, in this uh, rack if you will the the horrible pull apart the droid uh, rack so and I've already done this once before so I shouldn't uh, sc screw this up too badly so I guess I should tell you what you need you need a droid some arms that could be pulled off and then a horrific torture device so that's what you need to, to do this modification all right let's see if we can get these arms on this was always a big pain in the butt because these don't really fit and usually what happens is once I get the second arm on the first arm pops off all right there we go the arms are on now I have to hook them up into these uh, two hooks here on the rack so let's see if I can do that and rip the arms off in the process because that's normally what I do hey hey look at that folks I got it on the 87th try all right on to the next droid modification so this guy as you'll look in the picture needs to be disassembled I don't even think he has legs on and one of his arms is completely off and his head is kind of tilted which that might be tough to do and his arm is kind of up behind his head so to get that effect we are going to be doing something that is completely blasphemous in uh, Lego mock building which is using not craggle uh, like in the movie but tacky glue and hopefully because it's tacky glue that means we can get it off later um, and uh, I have uh, taped down my uh, this onto my uh, low bricks very expensive uh, table here so I, I taped a piece of paper on so we don't get any glue on the table so a little craft tip for you uh, kids at home out there um, so uh, let's glue this arm on and see how how bad this uh, how bad this will work and and uh, in order to mount him on the board uh, they don't show him with legs but there's something underneath and so I'm probably just gonna leave the legs on and just glue the arm up over his head some somewhere like that 
and uh, because that just uh, I don't think anyone will will know the difference all right let's glue an arm to the side of this droid's head and see how horrible this goes all right for this little project here we're going to use tape to basically um, hold hold the uh, arm in place while the glue is drying a little glue applicator which is a nail and turns clear when when uh, dry tacky glue so let's put a little glue down here it's so tacky it won't come out of the out of the dang bottle Oop, ooh. that's way too much glue all right so now I'm gonna apply some glue Ooh, oh boy this is gonna be a mess apply some glue to the side of his head and I don't really want the the slot part of the arm in there but I'm not gonna cut it off because I am hoping that I'll be able to reuse this so I'm gonna kinda of put it on the front let's just slather it on there because it's gonna dry when clear or clear when dry whatever and uh, glue it on the side of his head look at that I don't even know if I'm gonna need the tape I think that'll hold in place now hopefully that uh, clears dry there let me get him a little closer to the camera uh, because if not it's gonna look like he's got uh, white goop coming out of his head so oh always oh, gotta always gotta mess with it I can't just leave it be all right well we're gonna let that dry and get on to the uh, more risky projects all right for the next project we are going to take this assassin droid that I've already taken the top off of him and actually he's backwards there he is and I am going to paint him white and you know what assistant always says to me he says hey leaky you know there's probably an easy way to do things and there's a really hard way to do things and you seem to choose the hard way every time so in this in that spirit instead of actually spray painting this droid or uh, doing it simple what I'm gonna do is take this pair of pliers hold them from the top and I'm literally gonna dip him in some glidden sealing paint hoping that even though it's a metallic surface that the white paint will stick and when he dries he will be uh, all white so this probably won't work but hey I'm gonna do it anyways here is and so for this project this little mini project you need some white paint an assassin droid a nice pair of pliers make sure they're nice so you get paint all over it and then a paint top opener which is really unnecessary you could use a screwdriver or really anything so uh, now the other thing they say to do is to, to make sure you mix the paint before you apply it I'm not gonna waste any time with that maybe it was going on a wall or something like that that would be a different story so I'm going to hold him by his head let's make sure we can see it and I'm going to dip him in the white paint so let's do that and I have a feeling he's just gonna be caked on with paint but let's let's shake the paint loose here maybe we'll uh, there we go all right so let's lay him down on the surface now if all goes well you shouldn't be able to see him on this piece of paper because he will be all white all right let's grab him from the bottom now and dip the top part of them in the paint so assistant thought for sure that I was going to drop him into the paint and lose him forever and have to buy another assassin droid but so far I have not done that as far as you know alright let's lay him down there let's use our glue nail to flip him on his back All right, well that didn't go as bad as I, I really thought it might. Um, 
he's fairly white, so we're going to let him dry and uh, get to the really uh, bad idea. Okay, this, this just isn't working at all. All right, so after consulting with assistant and him calling me an idiot for trying to burn uh, a tiny minifigure with little black scorch marks with a flame that's the same size as the minifigure, he said, he suggested, use the paint method. But in this time, we're going to put a little paint. I don't think there's any paint in here. I'm just going to... Oh, there we go. That is the exact effect I was looking for. Kind of a burned up R2-D2. All right, so I think we have our droid modifications in place. Now we're obviously going to place them on the wall this way. So we have all the droids modified now, so let's, uh, let's let them dry. And uh, let me uh, clean up after I set fire to Lowbrick Studios and I got glue and paint everywhere. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll put these droids on the board. All right, so here are our modified droids. Uh, some mutilated, some, uh, some just really creepy looking. So let's get these guys onto the board and let's start with the rack droid. All right, let's stick the rack getting ripped apart guy on the board. Let's zoom in for a bit so we can see him a little closer. So the old one was uh, kind of a tan, and this one looks more like the droid in the picture. Let's see him. I don't have the sparks and all that, but we are adding LED lighting to the set. So that will maybe brighten up his day a little bit. I doubt it. He looks in rough shape. All right, next we are going to have... Um, Dirty, uh, kind of blown apart R2-D2. Let's stick him on the board now. All right, so the blown apart R2-D2, we are going to stick him kind of hanging up on the wall. His leg is next to him. It's a little hard to see. You move the Gamorrean guard over one. You can see him a little more hanging on the wall there. A lot of people won't know what uh, that is, and they'll just go, "Why is R2D2 hanging on the wall?" Well, let's take a pic. Let's uh, not take a picture. Let's have a look at the uh, scene. So, yep, that's him, kind of hanging on the wall, all dirty and busted up. Next, actually, let's do him last. So the next one is the guy that got kind of ripped apart, and we glued his arm on top of the. On top of his head so let's take a look at that scene one more time and we are going to keep his pants because I, uh, I will show you how we're going to put them on the board using a brown piece as his base all right it's gonna be a little hard to see this guy from the front where the clear where the kind of clear window into Jabba's palace is but we're going to stick him up against the wall over here. He's just kind of sitting there in the corner all broken apart. I don't know if I like this bottom per se. I think for now, then he is up off the ground a bit. Uh-oh. Got him caught in, the, caught in the cliff. Let's just stick them right on the floor here. The tacky glue worked pretty good. You can't see the uh, can't see the glue. His his arm is kind of up over his head the way it should be. And uh, C3PO when he you know goes out the door. Ah! Why did you do that? Okay, next we didn't change this guy too much. This is the EV9 droid, the guy doling out the jobs. So let's get him on the board. 
Next we have EV99, or as I like to call him, the Job Hander Outer Droid. That's his official name, I think. And uh, let's get in a little closer. So he's giving the instructions to R2. Now, now the hanging guy is not behind him, but if we want to see through the window and see him and the hanging droid, we got to put them behind because if they're off to the side, like our disassembled buddy, you won't really see him when you come visit the mock. So try my best to get everybody in there when you look through it. Maybe when you look through it a little higher above because the glass is going to go up pretty high. You hopefully will get to see all the droids. And last but not least, this guy. And I did paint a little face on him. As you remember, it's an assassin droid, silver assassin droid that we just dipped in white paint. He's the smelting droid that is uh, torturing the uh, gronk droid with the uh, hot, uh, steaming hot foot burners. So let's get him on the board. And last but not least, who could forget about this creepy fella? So let's put him down, try to get him as close as possible. And he has the hand on this bar because he is just burning the poor Gronk. Let's see if we can straighten him out a little bit. So it doesn't look great, but I think it'll do for now. All right, well, that just about does it for all the droids I wanted to add to uh, Jabba's droid torture room. And uh, we'll probably put a little more stuff over here. Kind of got some extra room over here. It's going to be a little hard to see both creepy smelting droid, 8D8, I think is his name, and C-3PO. And I think we're going to want to have another Gamorrean guard but we'll see we'll see how it all turns out when at the end that's a lot of uh, stuff crammed into a small space but I did get everything in there I wanted hit all the key uh, parts of the droid room from Jabba's palace and uh, that should do it for this week appreciate oh oh boy better put Jabba's palace back up there assistant will have me have my hide all right there we go Jabba's palace back to normal so still more work to do obviously we have to build the cliff up I will turn it over back to assistant now now that I have my droid room uh, pretty much where I want it so thanks again for watching I uh, really appreciate it we will uh, see you every Wednesday in the Tatooine mock don't forget watch our Friday fun videos it's product reviews minifigure reviews good stuff like that and on Monday we have our unboxings but every Wednesday same time same channel 6 p.m. sharp. We are building on to Tatooine. So we will see you next time. This is Leaky Trooper. I'm out. Bye.